Okay, so I always hear you can use just a pencil sharpener and a twig to make some tinder. And it makes sense, but I've never actually tried it before. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I just snapped these off of a uh, down branch while I was walking the dogs. And let's see how it works, let's see. This was like a dollar at Walmart for this pencil sharpener. Just a simple lightweight plastic one that you could fit in a pocket or an EDC kit, maybe even an Altoids tin. So far it's working pretty well. Let's take a look inside. Not bad. We're gonna need a lot more though. Okay, made it pretty pointy. Seems to be a small pile in there. For those of you who've been paying attention to my channel, you'll know what happened to the very nice uh, glass plate I had for testing Tinder on. That was an interesting day. So we're just gonna use a plastic one this time. And again, I still have my fire safety stuff nearby. There's a fire extinguisher just about a foot away from me. Off camera, of course. Okay, so looks like pencil shavings, obviously, but it's made out of tree. Instead of like graphite and stuff being in there. So let's see if we can get this ferro rod to actually spark. Okay, I just switched to the very reflective camera focusing, messing with little pie pan here. That way my hands can actually fit in and scrape. Okay, so this tinder does not work well with a ferro rod, which I figured. It'll probably work really well with a lighter. Let's go ahead and take a look. I have my handy dandy electric lighter. So this should spark up pretty much instantly. I'm just gonna grab one real quick. Okay, so it ignited that little shaving quite easily. Let's put a couple little shavings on top of it. Well, I think I accidentally smothered it. Let's try that again. Does seem to go out pretty quickly. There we go, we just need to get that oxygen circulating. That's the bad thing about doing it for demonstration purposes. There's no airflow underneath. Okay, but you get the general idea. You can get it going with a lighter. All right, now we're gonna try a little bit different branch on the bigger circle. Okay. Well, it looks like the same thing, just a little bit bigger shavings. Okay, so this little worn out ferro rod is just a simple keychain one. It doesn't throw as many sparks as a high quality, regular size ferro rod that's like, you know, a half an inch thick, but it doesn't need to. I've started many of tenders with this little guy. As you can see, I've tested it out so many hundreds of times. So this tender is not good for a ferro rod, which is fine. I didn't expect it to be. It's, at least now you guys know and you don't have to do this on your own. So let's try one more time with the lighter with the bigger shavings. So kind of build it up so it has some room to breathe. There we go. Yeah, it just, it ignites easily, but burns out quickly. Doesn't like to catch the other tenders. Now that's mostly just that there's no oxygen flow for it, but still. I've been able to I've been able to ignite many attenders and pie pans as you've seen on my channel. And this just isn't cutting it. So the old myth that yeah you could just pack one of these and 
have easy tinder at all times is only half true. This will work to a small extent, but if you're relying on a ferro rod, you're going to need something better than this. I would recommend the tinder tool you've seen in my winter fire kit video that makes much better tinder than a pencil sharpener because that's its intended purpose. I'm sure this would work well with like a big lighter possibly, but you need mountains of it. And while, yeah, you can do that. If you have a decent knife with you, you can just scrape off shavings similar to this. And if you have a good 90 degree spine, you could probably get super fine shavings that are easily ignitable by a ferro rod. So why take a little pencil sharpener that might not even do what you need it to do when you already have a knife that can do basically the same thing or when you can carry that Smith's Tinder Maker I put in my winter fire kit video and make much better Tinder and it's also pocket size. It's a little bit bigger than this, but it does the job infinitely better than this one. So until next time, keep moving. Hi, Kit Zero here. Hope you loved that video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already subscribed by hitting this button here and then hitting the bell icon so you get notified of new videos. You can also check out these videos here for recommendations and to see what else I'm up to. And as always, comment below with what you like about this video and what you'd like to see on the channel. And until next time, keep moving.